Hey folks, Evan Hunhausen here, the writer of Jill the Treasure Huntress, Watching the Warrior. Me and Brian Loner created this awesome comic book. So it's for sales PDF right now. It's possible I'll uh, soon make a Moby or something for the Kindle. I'm sure it's not hard to convert that. Uh, and I'll add it to the thing on Gumroad, but yeah, pretty awesome. You know, I had to figure it out on my own, so it took like a long time for you to make time for that. And even when I did it, I was cursing as I did it because I was like, hey, what the heck is this? What the heck is that? And all these buttons. And, um, <clears throat> but luckily I did it. So it's available for eight bucks right now, PDF. If there is a huge demand, we can print some comics out. We I just don't have many, and Brian's out of them. So depends on demand. So if put in the comments if you want a physical copy of Jill the Treasure Huntress. I'm selling it for 15 bucks. So the PDF's 8 right now. The physical copy would be 15 if we printed out some more. Plus shipping and tax. Anyway... But we need to know what kind of demand there is. If there isn't a demand, I don't see why we would print out some more. So put in the comments if you want a, a print version of Jill the Treasure Huntress watching the warrior. And then we'll start to see things proliferate <laughs> on the internet. Internet proliferation this is viral, man. Anyway, what else can I say, man? It's just uh, Brian Loner's in my opinion, the most talented uh, artist I've ever met. I've met, a, you know, more than one talented artist, but he is, he's up there as uh, number one, two or three, but most likely number one. And that's how uh, strongly I feel about how good this comic book is and how much you're going to enjoy it because of what Brian Loner has done. And... I mean, will we make an NFT? We could. I, I just don't understand NFTs very well, and everybody I talk to doesn't understand NFTs, so I don't get a lot of information about... I know where I can make them, like on Rarible and other places. So making an NFT isn't the problem. It's like, who's going to buy it? That's that's the problem. Like, I don't understand. So again, if you want an NFT, if you want a physical copy, if you want, you know, a Moby of... Uh, Jill the Treasure Hunters, all you gotta do is put a comment and then we'll start doing it. Supply and demand, my friend. Um, I'm trying to think of something interesting to say, but nothing's coming up. Uh, Jill the Treasure Hunters.com is where you can find it all. I would, I would highly suggest you subscribe to my newsletters. At gosh darn blog, because how else are you going to know about what I'm doing? Uh, Dirty Filthy Disco Trash.com, DJ Cola.net, my unfinished story, the soccer zombie.com. You go to these websites and then you start subscribing and following and liking and sharing and buying me a pizza, and then, like, all of a sudden, you know when we got the next thing going on that you need to know about. Otherwise, you won't know. You'll just like, that's interesting, and swipe away, you know. But yes, you should subscribe to my newsletter so that you can always know. Even BrianLonerArt.com, go there, and you can definitely see a couple pages so you can see what you're getting by going to BrianLonerArt.com and checking that out. Oh, I got an idea. Let me show you something. So this is what the uh, this is what the physical copy looks like. Like like I said, we can print more, but we gotta know what the demand is. It's just the way it is. I mean, the internet's weird. Like you know, it's just like everybody does things on their own, or at least I do, and it's it's weird. 
you know, what people think business is, is not what you think it is. It's just somebody doing something for fun and profit, maybe. Maybe. Profit, quote unquote. Maybe not. Maybe we just did it for fun, right? What are you going to do? That's some, uh, that's a mattress. That's a foam mattress. Because, you know, I get really loud in here. No, I don't. But the DJ thing, you know, I put the foam mattress in some, uh, some uh, wine rack stuff because I didn't go to Amazon and buy the foam, the proper foam for the wall. So you can see, uh, anyway, you know, if you don't want to buy the comic, just tip me and tip Brian Loner, and that's the new economy. Get tipped like a stripper, you know, put the dollar bills in the underwear on the internet underwear. Put the dollar bills on the internet underwear. <laughs> Have you ever heard anyone else say that? No, you haven't. You didn't know this was an X-rated show, did you? You thought this was for like a family show. <laughs> but, you know, um, the comic book's definitely for children. You can definitely, uh, when I was 8 years old and 10 years old and 11 years old, I was definitely buying heavy metal comic books. <laughs> so... Don't think your kids aren't going to get their hands on uh, something like Jill the, the Treasure Huntress. It's, it's just a matter of time before they get their hands on it. And they'll most likely not want you to know about it. But most likely, you know, when I was like young, like my grandma would buy me Heavy Metal Magazine. And uh, that was a good thing because look how it turned out. Anyway, uh... But then also in the shelves was like Stephen King, Cujo, and I'd be like thumbing through Cujo, like scaring myself. And also in the shelves would be Madonna, like naked in the Playboy. She doesn't look like she used to do. She looks really different now. She actually has a new song out with Sam Smith, which is dope. I'm happy for her, Madonna, to have a new song out. <clears throat> and they just go completely off topic. Like Sam Smith did something really weird. Like, he started doing the whole, you know, dressing like a devil and stuff. And now I swear, all the popular artists are singing songs that are talking about Jesus on the cross and evil at the same time. Makes no sense. Why would you, like, what, what kind of genre is that? You know, at one point they're doing, like, the gospel music. Like, oh, yeah. And then, then they do, like, the, the bass in your face. And it's, like, totally demonic. And I don't understand why you would combine both. I mean, who's the genius behind that? Like, he's going straight to hell, whoever that guy is, anyway. Madonna already did all this, like, years ago. We don't have to, like, reinvent the wheel. That's what I hate about 2023. I've noticed everybody and their mother's trying to reinvent the wheel. It really makes me mad. And the wheel's already been invented. You don't need to reinvent it. It's already been invented. So it's better for you to support me and Brian Loner, an independent artist, than it is to support, like, some demonic ritual crap that's trying to fuck with your head at the Grammys, okay? Like, just don't... Like, that's not what's going on here, you know? And if it was, you know, I don't know. Maybe there'd be a reason for it. I really can't figure out the reason why the Grammy people want to promote that. There's got to be a reason, and it's probably to make money, but I, I can't see it right now. I can't see the reason why you would want to make money by promoting evil and good at the same time. Why not just talk about yin and yang or something? Why not just talk about yin and yang and Eastern philosophy? That'd be easier to, to digest than whatever they're, they're putting out there. That's my rant about uh, being alive. But I got a lot to say about pop culture and stuff. I've been uh, studying that for a long time. So I'll give a shout out to the uh, FOCO, the Fort Collins Comic Con. Go there. Then you can meet Brian Loner and all the other talented dudes who make comic books in Colorado and beyond. So thanks for listening to my crazy video. And... Uh, it's all for Jill the Treasure Huntress, man. So I'm going to go drink some beer today because to celebrate it. That's right. 
anyway, it is a beautiful day. Like, there's been nothing but, like, rain every day for the whole summer. And if you don't think that's depressing, <laughs> like, at 4 o'clock it's been raining in Colorado. And I'm like, why? And, and the past two days, clear skies. Usually it's the opposite. In August it rains. May, June, July, you're okay, but oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you're on blog.com. It is it is like unbelievable, the weather this summer. It, it really didn't make me happy. But I'm glad I could share, you know, this little video diary of my crazy life. And uh, let me show you Gizmo. Is that his name? This is the Gremlins uh, guy. What's his name? If you want to buy this on eBay, you know, just... Just, but yes, so we need uh, to know how many people want to print copy of the Jill the Treasure Huntress. So put comments below and then we'll start to know uh, what's going on. And if you live in a foreign country, you're going to have to pay an extra $31 because that's how much it costs at the post office to send out priority mail for uh, foreign countries. Um, sorry, but that's the way it is. So you're going to have to pay whatever the cost of the product is plus 31 bucks if you live in a, another country if you live in the usa you don't have to pay that much i, I can't figure out if count books are media mail or not i'm i'm tr i think they probably are but maybe they're not maybe this they didn't make the cut so usually like uh shipping's 3.99 $3 nine for the uh, priority <clears throat> And we have to calculate all this. We can't just go broke because we made a comp book. That's stupid. So anyway, buy the digital copy. Uh, let me know what you want in the comments and we'll make more of it. And that's the way it works. And by all means, uh, please support us. Thank you so much for supporting us. And thanks so much for watching this video. It means a lot that you support and put your money where your mouth is when it comes to independent artists. Thank you.